excuse me. Excuse me. You never work with you. Yeah, I'll talk to the higher. If help. you gave a damn about Lulu, you'd tell her you're as crazy as the rest of your family and leave her alone. Okay. Try to follow her. I won, you lost. Lulu's mine. She doesn't want anything to do with you. That means, hey, pay attention. You don't get a say in what goes on anymore in her life. I get the hell out of my face and get back to work. My father might need to be white. Hey, 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 call security. Hey, 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 hey. Zagara, I will have you arrested. Is Kate here? No, she's out for the day with Sunny, and she doesn't want to be disturbed, so you don't need to worry about liking your job. Good, because I want to get something straight with you. My mother has an incurable condition called psychomotor disassociation. She had a total emotional and psychotic break. She is trapped inside her own body. No one can be certain what she feels or if she's aware of what's going on around her. No one can be sure that she's not screaming inside every single day for somebody to help her. So when you say that my mom's sitting in a rocking chair, staring at a wall, it's not a joke. It's not some everyday snarky maxi insult, it's cruel. It's like making fun of somebody with cancer or AIDS. So if you want to come after me, come after me any way you want. But if you ever make fun of my mother again... Get the empty threats, Lulu, okay? I knew I went too far as soon as the words came out of my mouth. What happened to your mom was way too awful to use as ammunition in a fight, and I'm sorry. I know you won't believe me when I say it. No, don't even say it then. But I'm pretty sure we won't talk about this again, so I might as well get it off my chest. Your mom went crazy for a reason. Yes, because Scott Baldwin made her believe that she killed Rick Weber. What about all the stuff that happened with your dad? The danger, the loss, don't you think that had anything to do with it? You're saying that my, what, my dad's to blame? I'm saying that you're Laura's daughter, and you're taking a lot of the same chances that she did. Let me guess where this is going. I am too fragile to be with Johnny. I should stay away from him for my own good. Yeah, you are so predictable, not to mention shameless for using my mother's condition as a way to try and break up me and Johnny. I have no problem going after Johnny wearing a bathing suit or taking advantage of time spent stranded together in an elevator. None of that is any more or any worse than what you did breaking up Georgie and Dylan's marriage. Oh, God, are you ever going to stop throwing that in my face? Probably not. Because I miss my sister, and I hate that her life's over. I try not to obsess about it, but when I let myself, I think that if Georgie had stayed with Dylan, maybe she would still be alive. Are we comparing horrible things we've done? I'm trying to explain to you that where I would be happy to hurt your feelings and take away your boyfriend. I do not want you to lose your mind. <sighs> My mind is just fine. Thank you. <laughs> your mom was unstable and cracked after years of violence and loss, and now you're in a serious relationship with the mob prince who has a homicidal father? Tell me how any of that is good for your you mental health. You don't know what you're talking about right now. Illnesses run in families. Everything from breast cancer to bipolar disorder. You have Laura's genes, so why are you taking the same chances? Okay, all right, you know what? I think that you are trying to show concern in a twisted and completely inappropriate way right now, but you don't have to worry, okay? Because I'm not my mother, and I'm not gonna go crazy over Johnny, or for any other reason. So you're telling me what we've got here is your basic public brawl. I'm a detective. Yeah, and I'm the special prosecutor. That's why I called you. Now I want you to arrest him on assault charges. It's not at all what happened. Are you willing to give your statement? I don't say a damn thing without my lawyer. Well, you better have yourself a pretty good lawyer. Now here's what happened. He attacked my son. He went into some kind of psycho rage. He tried to kill him. I want you to arrest him, Harper. Arrest him now. You have a right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be provided for you at interrogation time and at court.